Alrighty, we are live um, this morning, and I was gonna work on um, some um, VTuber enhancements, um, and wanted to um, try doing some speech, and realized that the OpenAI API is down, so I can't make any API calls to generate speech for um, for Emmy here. So that is a bummer. So. Instead, I am um, going to be looking up how to use uh, Vicuna so we don't run into this issue. So I uh, was browsing on YouTube yesterday and I found this. Um, so let me change this. I found um, this guy on YouTube called um, uh, Socially Inept Weeb or something. Um, and it looks like he came up with another VTuber concept, uh, which is, which is pretty cool, socially inept. Weeb. This is it. Oh, here it is. I already have it selected. Um, so, it looks like he created something new. So, um, I was watching this um, to see what what different what he did differently. It looks like he's using Vicuna for the language model, which is a locally want, uh, run large language model. Um, looks like he's using, this is kind of cool, I'd never thought about this, a um, stable diffusion generator running on the computer. Um, and then inside of here, there is, you know, the text speech. I have that figured out. And then there was another one to read the uh, the chat so um yeah something in here to read the chat and i will be using that library as well to read the chat um but in the meantime vicuna let's do a little bit of vicuna research i will have to hide my vtuber model because unfortunately it's not working right now um Instructions for 7B model. Fix W get. Modify the chat with Vicuna V1 text in the Llama C fork. Okay, the Vicuna model needs 10 gigabytes of CPU RAM. Um, I'm gonna increase the swap files. Uh, one line install script for Vicuna 1.1. 13 bill. <clears throat> Clone B, Llama CPP, repository, change the directory, make it, move to Llama CPP. It's a nine gigabyte file. Example of how to run the 13 bill with Llama CPPs. Chat with Vicuna. Uh, is this me? Vicuna installation. I know I need to download the llama models. I already have some llama models downloaded. Um, Alright, so this is going to be a short video. Best there for all the computers. Mess. Distributors. It's a great video. Run uh, the new the, the 
first thing that you want to do uh, uh, repository unzip the rest of the files that you just unzipped and then after that uh, head to the so you might then uh, paste in uh, what is in the paste it like this and if, if you see all this then that means it's working so this is loading tensors four gigabytes views and it seems to work just fine okay. four <clears throat> let me see if bing can find it Okay, this is the same one. Instruction 17 bill. 17 bill. In this video, I will show you how you can run the Wukunya model on your local computer. Oh, I just don't want to down. I just don't want to re-download all the stuff. Um, one line install script for it. Go to GitHub. Port a Facebook model. <clears throat> okay, I guess we'll go with this one. Let's go take a look at these pages now. Valid blob. Okay, well. All right, well, we'll just we'll just run this. Um, <clears throat> I think things are fine. I should have C++ on my computer, so let me just go ahead and create a directory so that we can get this up and running. Um, Vicuna, Vicuna, Vicuna. Open in terminal.
Oh, there's a spider in my wall. Be right back. Nope, the spider has escaped. Oh well. I'm back. Let's go ahead and make it. Because mm, I don't have C installed. I don't have C++ installed on my computer. That's another installation that I had to do. Ugh. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see 
what um let's see what repo he used. Oh, ads. I'm Rainy, a self As of and open source LLMs have become available on Hugging Face for public use. And developments in quantizations of models allows for LLMs trained on billions of parameters to run on lower end GPUs. I'm sure as time goes on, the quality of its output being almost as good as treatment, allowing it to run using Google Collab's free GPU. Of course, this idea was inspired by my to Google Cloud. I'm also using Uga. <laughs> Looks sketchy. <laughs> Visual Studio. Fine, fine. <clears throat> Let's watch this video. Unfortunately, right now we can't run the Pentaheist model version. So wait for you guys and explore all the capabilities of the model. And if you don't have a GPU yourself, you know, but enough for each project, activate our created version. And yet, get Cooter, and now no, Web Interface asks an open ended user to model. Either we use the CLI to chat with the model, it asks a GPU reader from Live, we can take girl and now we'll copy this to share with you and i saw that in the web ui repository and as i also showed in the last video you are able to run quantized gpu models in that repository and what i basically did. what do we got 
extended i merged the capabilities of both models together in that fork so we're using all the parameters and setup to run the model from the vikenia repository and on top we're using the capabilities of this repository to be able to load the quantized gpu model and to make it easier for you guys to follow along this video i created this medium article where you can just copy and paste the comments that we will need to install the Vulcunia model on our local computer using our GPU and explore all the capabilities of the model. And if you do um, cool. Twenty eight gigabytes of GPU memory. That is beyond me. Let's go ahead and follow this one step by step. Oh, that's a different one. Um, no. Empty folder. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, okay. What is this? This is not Python. <laughs> I 
39. Right now, um, right now what I'm working on is getting a different backend for it, um, because right now I rely on, on ChatGPT for producing the responses. Um, however, ChatGPT is down right now, or the API is, is having spotty connections, so, um, I have pivoted to move over to, um, to Vicuna to run locally. Um, online ChatGPT um, down detector. Yes. So wow, we just they just happen to go go down when I started um, wanting to stream. So that sucks. <laughs> but yeah. So as to not run into issues like that in the future. Um, I, I do want to add local versions to the assistance, so what better time to get started than right now? Okay, so. <clears throat> Let me refresh this. Recent Vicuna. Right. Okay, here is Vicuna. Let's go ahead and do that BNB. Activate. Let's go ahead, clone. stuff downloading yeah it should be it should be one and done um, preferably once I'm past all the the whole debugging stuff it should be where you just kind of click it and it'll generate responses without any um, without any feedback so right now I, I, I've left a lot of the feedback in there for development purposes I'll be right back while it installs I gotta go um, do some laundry <laughs> I gotta go put my clothes in the dryer real quick yes AI entirely um, AI with the uh, foundation AI with the base of um, ChatGPT um, 
give me like a couple of minutes i should be able to get it up and running i think the api should be back up but i gotta go put my clothes in laundry real quick All right, mission accomplished. Clothes are successfully laundered. Okay. Let's see, see the repositories. CD repositories get clone. Okay, CD this thing. <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's. I uh, only knew. I only know a little bit about Five Nights at Freddy's. see if the let me see if the API is is working on chat GPT side of things real quick um, chat GPT AI no no API working go away status page just give me the actual status page um we're seeing recovering rates for ChatGPT. Whisper and Turbo engines impacted. Root cause that been identified. Major outage. Oh, there's been a major outage. Okay. Um. Well, let's go ahead and run. Uh, <clears throat> hey, Emmy, are you listening? Where's she at? Oh, it's a Miami Nashley. And he asked me, well, we seen to your fascinating monologue. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> um, okay, wait, hold on. Say something that is uh, a little bit easier to say. Well, that was a terrible generation. Sure thing, bud. I heard you loud and clear. What's on your mind? Um, what do you think about the rise of artificial intelligence and how is it going to impact humans? Oh, I 
that's a great question, pal. Personally, I think it's gonna be a fantastic opportunity for robots to take over the world and make us all their loyal servants. Oh, wait, did I say fantastic? I meant terrifying, yeah. Definitely terrifying. Oh, that's a little spooky. Um, yeah, promise to me you're not gonna take over the world. I'm just building it to be a fun, I'm building you to be a fun little AI stream co-host. Yeah, so this one uses OpenAI as the back end. hundred percent. Oh, well, you're pretty little head about it, chap. I don't have any plans to take over the world. Yeah. In the meantime, I'll Whoa. just focus on being a fun and sarcastic co-host for your streams. That's a, where'd that voice come from? Holy moly! What in the world? That is the first time I've had it break from the actual model. But the guy voice that just appeared was actually pretty good, not gonna lie. How do I get that guy's voice? <laughs> he can't say they're cute, they're traps. Oh, that's quite a surprise, buddy. As for the guy's voice, I'm not sure what you mean, but if you're talking about the A voice, I'm afraid I can't help you with that. My programming only includes my voice, which I hope you find just as delightful. Interesting. Um, well, I think your voice broke character a little bit and um, started generating with a different um, person's voice. Why? Oh, I'll, ask, I'll ask the 2 plus 2 question. is a man <laughs> well that's certainly interesting to hear pal maybe it's just the magic of technology doing its thing in its thing or maybe it's a glitch in the system either way i'm sure my voice is still just as entertaining and sarcastic as ever um what's two plus two Oh, that's a tough one. Let me consult my vast knowledge of arithmetic. Hmm, let's see. To it. What's it? Why, Sora? Well, I'm a genius. <laughs> so it has trouble trying to read out um, numbers. Uh, can you give me the response again, but write everything out in um, characters without any Roman numerals or Roman numbers? Yeah, hundred percent. I've been working on trying My to- My apologies for the confusion, buddy. The answer to your question, let's do what you to do, is four. That's uh, all you are, or go. without any roaming numerals or fancy characters. Is that clearer for you? Okay, sweet. Awesome. Yeah, I've been trying to fine-tune the voices a little bit better. Um, this one is a more recent one, but um, <clears throat> let me change it over to a different one to see. Maybe it's uh, this more recent one is causing issues. Um, yeah, that is true. Very true. <clears throat> Yeah, this will be interesting when I open it up to um, to YouTube chat. That is going to be the next course of action. Um, but yeah, that, that shouldn't be too far away. Let's see. Um. Hey, Emmy, can you um can you tell the audience a cool little story while I um, do other stuff?
ABCD. Of course, pal. Let me think. Uh, I've got one. Once upon a time, in a far off land, there was a magical kingdom ruled by a wise and kind queen. The people of the kingdom were happy and prosperous, and they loved their queen dearly. But one day, an evil sorcerer appeared and cast a terrible curse on the kingdom. Suddenly, the skies turned dark, the crops withered away, and the once peaceful people turned angry and violent. The queen knew she had to act fast to save her people, so she went on a dangerous quest to find the sorcerer's lair and defeat him. Along the way, she met a brave knight who offered to help her in her quest. What are we here? Together, they battled fierce monsters, crossed treacherous rivers, and faced impossible odds. Finally, after many long weeks of travel, they arrived at the sorcerer's lair. The queen drew her sword and charged at the sorcerer while the knight fought off his minions. The battle was long and hard, but at last the queen struck the final blow and defeated the sorcerer. What is happening As the curse here? lifted, the skies cleared, the crops bloomed, and the people of the kingdom returned to their happy, peaceful ways. The queen was hailed as a hero, and she ruled the kingdom with compassion and wisdom for many years to come. The end. Cool, the end, the end. Um, uh, what part about the Soviets SVC? Um, I, I do know the about end. Soviets Thanks SVC. Thanks for listening, folks. Um, I do know about uh, Soviet SVC. Um, but, uh, what part in particular? Crazy as in, um, good crazy or crazy as in, in bad crazy? So this one didn't work. Hmm. So this didn't work. So it looks like this model may be out of date. Um, fast chat, download GPTQ, quantize Vicuna model, fast chat. I am in the fast chat folder here. I, I would prefer one that's faster. Um, but not at the sacrifice of too much quality. Um, Joab, for Soviets, you might want to train a little bit, um, longer. If it can't spell any words. The issue with, uh, the hard thing that I find with, um, you know, any type of training is trying to generalize training to, um, people. But to other cases is is super hard. Like one thing can work for me and it doesn't work for you guys. What type of data are you using? Okay, so this GPTQ doesn't work. Blah. See, the thing about the thing about being is it actually sucks for um it sucks for searching things up uh, 
Um, Vicuna, seven gel Python. Gotcha. Well, as long as the voice came out as you, as you intended, or even if it's not what you intended, something you like. Delete this. Delete. Move to recycle bin. Continue. Yes. Delete permanently. Alright, let us go ahead and try. Does it have enough stars and enough forks? Yes, we trust it. Previously installed, da, da, da. I want to upgrade your version and build with a different time options.
Okay. Now we gotta get the llama models. We gotta get the 7B llama model. Where is it? GGML. GGML Yo, welcome, welcome to the chat Konnichiwa Hey, Emmy, can you describe to me what a GGML file is for machine learning? Uh, you didn't hear me. Hey, Emmy. I'm sorry. I must have missed what you said. What do you need, dear? Um, what is a GGML file? <laughs> and that's what this is. Oh, it says GML. Didn't get it. Oh, well. Oh, uh, good move. I'll quit. It stands for Game Maker Language, which is a scripting language used for creating video games. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? I did not know that.
<clears throat> hello, 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 welcome Daniel, welcome to the chat. and build llama bet there are some things in the issue Yeah, I was able to find him. <laughs> it looks like he did something um, in the along the same lines, and he's using Vicuna. And since OpenAI was down this morning, I decided to take a look at Vicuna. So now I'm just browsing to figure out um, how this thing gets gets downloaded, installed, all that fun stuff. Now you're just what. Sweetie, don't leave me hanging. I'm dying to know. I'm not talking to you. Chill. Oh, don't be like that, pumpkin. I was just having a bit of fun. But if you really need some space, I'll be here when you're ready to chat again. the original amount of weights and place them in 
dot forward slash models. Definitely agreed. Open AI is too good. If I had more money and more time, I would try to train a GPT. I would fine tune a GPT-3 model to be specific, but I don't. And GPT-3.5 is much cheaper. Obtain the original llama model weights and place them in in dot models. Okay. Python dependencies, convert the seven bill. Oh, okay, perfect. Here are the instructions. Okay, 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 okay. Latest Fortran vision. LS Install requirements. <coughs> Convert seven bill model to GGML. 
fine point sixteen format. Okay, should be good to go. Python. Quantize the model to four bits. Where is dot quantize? Hmm. I don't see a quantize here. My goodness, where's the page that I just closed out of? I freaking... Oh, here it is. Um... I don't think I can do CMake.
Go for it. I, I just went to a YouTube video that had it um, for a local installation. Didn't work. <laughs> the um, I have it quantized um, and converted I just need to well no I don't have it quantized I have it converted I just need to uh, run this last step in the github but I don't have uh, any type of C++ on my computer so I'm trying to install CMake right now But, um, I'm always open for new videos, so please throw them in the chat. So wanna see my... Alright, let's go ahead and close this PowerShell window, PowerShell. Make a new one, um, terminal, new window, CMake is still not a command. Hello? Let me see if it is outside CMake. Oh, CMake works. Um, what in the world is CMake? Alright, let me close out of VS Code. New window. Nothing recent. Not recognized. That's BS. Snake. Snake language. Okay, maybe I don't have Snake here in VS Code. Um, okay, BNB. Oops. PNB scripts activate. Ah, shoot. No, no, no. Activate. Okay. CD llama. CMake. Well, it works in the command line, so let me just go ahead and run this through the CMD command line. Where the heck is dot quantize at? What in the heck issues? <clears throat> Pr 
prompt engineering. I have seen his channel before. Um, what are you looking for, Daniel? Um, how to run SVC? CPP quantize might be under build examples quantize oh so far oh my goodness ah uh, yeah yeah yes copy path um okay Oh, that's a releases page, huh? Have you ever seen the anime Vivi? That is why.
VX2. Here we go. One time to quantize eleven, twelve, twelve seconds. Yes, it is a it's a it's a great watch. I really recommend it. Basically, um, uh, the Vivi anime is about AI, and yeah, I think it fits. <laughs> it's only thirteen episodes, so it's nice, short, and sweet. CPP models. Okay, quantized for bin. Nice. And there goes my space. Um, okay, cool. We got that. Now, where is the um, where is the wrapped version of it? Python wrap. More binding, that's what they call it. Binding, binding, binding. Okay. Sample of how to use the high level API. Okay, so if I bring this, um, and throw this into its own folder down here. Let's do models. Um, we'll call this seven bill. Um, throw this in here. Uh, you guys can't see anything because I'm working in File Explorer right now. Um, let me go ahead and close this stuff out. Go here, create a new text file from llama underscore cpp import llama. Let me just copy paste all this right here. Except for these. Da 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 da. Go ahead and name this um, models. Here it is. You name it. Take that out. DGML model bin max tokens 32 stop Q. I'm sorry. I'm not quite sure what Oops. you're asking there, honey. I'm sorry. Could you please clarify? A 
Okay. I didn't mean to ask her a question, so. Um, we do this. Let's call this main.py. Okay, awesome. Sweet. So here it is. Um, let me go ahead and place this in a text file so I can see um, what I need to call. Um, ID object created model bin choices. Um, one, two, uh, choices. Which is what, darling? You're being a bit vague. If you need any more context, I'm sure I can help you out. Um, sorry, I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna turn off um, Emmy for the time being. <clears throat> I do want to get it to where the voice actually works, you know, reasonably well. Response. Okay. Name the planets in the solar system. some chat GPT generated code to now use a um, filter so response Output, comment that out. All right, print. Um, do four new lines. Awesome, Vicuna is working. Woo 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 woo. Let's go. Um, cool. Alrighty, um, let me ask it a more complex question. Mm -hmm. Let me just ask it a 
Let me see if it can come up. Um, let's see. <clears throat> I know. Woo -woo, let's go. <laughs> Prompt equals user. Um, I just manually do this. Um, create a personality for a tsundere like character. Let's see if it understands this. <clears throat> well, I probably have to figure out a little bit how um how it works a little bit more, but max tokens, maybe I'll do a thousand. I don't know if it can handle that, but five twelve, yeah. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Something smaller. Ooh, requested. Ah, total. Hmm. Wait, hold on. What happened? What did it say? A thousand? Requested tokens exceeded context window of 512. Let's try 100. What is two plus two? Four. Um, tell me a fun random fact. I am on. I am. I am an only child. And elaborate a bit. I'm not a morning person. I'd rather work on my computer than get out of bed in the morning. My son thinks otherwise. My first job was as a nanny. I worked for four families simultaneously while studying at university. Okay, cool. Um, hmm, okay, cool. So, I guess it works. Um, so, that is awesome. Tell me a fun fact. Um, 512 requested tokens four hundred stop Q all right cool so now that I've got it now that I've got now that I've got the base working, I just got to figure out um, how to use it a little bit better. Uh, maybe RTFM a little bit, and uh, let's see. Documentation. All right, there's gonna be a lot of RTFM. Um, so I guess I'll spend some time off stream reading, reading the manual, reading the fun manual. Um, and then I guess the next stream will be integrating Vicuna into the assistant so that I can run it locally so I don't have to wait too much on OpenAI. Um, on OpenAI, so. Whew. It's a lot easier to do in retrospect, but everything is actually. To, <laughs> everything's a lot easier to do in retrospect. Um, all right, so hopefully, hopefully next time um, I will actually be able to start working on getting it reading YouTube chat. Um, I will be ending the stream here. Um, so the hope is to be able to integrate 
uh, PyT chat, the GitHub repository, into this um, project so that it can read YouTube live chat and um, talk to the audience. So that'll be if that'll be fun. When I plan on working this sometime this week, but I should have all of this up and finished coding. I should have all this done by the end of the week. Um, so it shouldn't be too much. Um, I always say that. I always say it shouldn't be too much. And then I run into an issue that takes me like three, three to four hours to finish. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Appreciate you guys tuning in and, and leaving the uh, inspiring comments. And I'll see you guys again later. Catch ya.